Hey guys, welcome to another episode here on Food Chain TV. I am very excited about today's episode. All right, so I'm going to show you the proper way to cook ground beef. All right, now ground beef is going to go through three separate stages in order to cook properly. Now, a lot of you might be wondering like, well, what's the big deal? I cook ground beef all the time. Well, maybe you do, but are you making boiled beef? Are you making steamed beef? Or are you making properly seared ground beef. Now there's something called the Maillard reaction and this is basically when the amino acids in the meat and the sugars react together to form like kind of a complex mixture of compounds that gives seared meat that special like umami seared flavor like the flavor that you would get in a nicely seared steak or like a flame broiled burger. Now that's called the Maillard reaction and I guess it was invented by some snooty French guy. I don't know if he was snooty, maybe he was nice, who knows. Anyways, that's called the Maillard reaction, and that is actually what we're going for here when we cook ground beef. All right, so let's get right into this technique. All right, so I have a nice big skillet here, and I have it on medium-high heat. Now, if you're using really lean beef, you're gonna need to add a little bit of oil because essentially we need to, at some point, we're gonna have to fry this beef, okay? Now, this has 15% fat, so that's actually gonna be good. We don't need to add any more oil to it. That fat will actually help us get to where we're going. Okay, so let's get started here. Get a nice sharp knife, get your, uh, free your beef, and let's get it into the hot pan. Okay, so beef has a lot of water in it. So for step one, we're actually gonna get the water out of the beef. All right, so that's step one here. Now a really cool kitchen gadget is one of these ground meat choppers. I love this thing, okay? And what this does is it's gonna allow us to break that ground beef down into really small crumbly pieces. So you just do this. Now, not only is this necessary, but it's also actually a lot of fun. Now we're starting to see a lot of steam come off of that meat and that's exactly what we want during step one. We wanna evaporate a lot of the water that's in that beef, okay? So steam is good. Okay, now here's another thing to think about. Look at all that water and look at all that steam. Okay, water only boils at 212 degrees. So it only gets 212 degrees hot, okay? So if you were to cook the beef just till this stage in that water, it's really only boiling the beef. Okay, in order to get that Maillard reaction, we actually need to go a lot higher. And what we're gonna do here is when you fry foods in oils, oils actually get up to like 250, 375 degrees, and that is actually what is going to cook our meat properly. At this point, we can season the beef with some salt. Okay, so now we're at stage two, and stage two is when most of the waters come out of the beef, and we're just gonna get rid of the last few little bits of water until there's just oil left in the pan. Okay, so now there's no more water left in the pan. You can hear now it's starting to sizzle and fry. Okay, this is what we want. All right, now this is a beautiful stage three. We see these little pieces of beef frying. Some of them are actually jumping up like that, like little Mexican jumping beans. That is exactly what you wanna see, okay? That Maillard reaction is definitely taking place. You can see by the color. Okay, it's got this beautiful brown charred color. So right now, I'm trying to get as many little pieces charred as I can to maximize the flavor of this ground beef. So look at this, the bottom of the pan is nice and clean. There isn't really much fat left. And the ground beef is this beautiful brown colored and you'll notice I kept it moving most of the time. That way you don't burn it. Okay, there's a nice difference between charring and burning. And that involves keeping it in motion. All right, so this took maybe like 15 minutes total. And look what we have here. So check this out guys, on the left we have boiled meat, which is actually the stage that a lot of people get to. And over here we have beautiful, crumbly, shiny, tasty, umami, properly cooked 
ground beef. With that Maillard reaction that took place, the amino acids and the sugars came together, made all these nice little compounds, and it tastes, has a nice little charred flavor that you'd get in like a steak or a burger. This here is proper ground beef, okay? This here is just boiled beef, and it tastes, well, like boiled beef, all right? So next time you guys use ground beef in a recipe, take it all the way to stage three, to this beautiful golden brown color and you'll see the difference. So there you go guys, boiled meat and properly cooked ground beef. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys wanna help me grow this channel, please subscribe. You can subscribe by hitting that subscribe button below. You can give it a thumbs up and you can let me know in the comments section what you thought of this video. The more subscriptions I have, the more time that I can spend making videos like this just for you. So thank you very much for your support. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you on the next video.